what do you see in Eastern, or have you guys done film yet for Eastern? Um, we did a little bit yesterday. But similar to Syracuse, so, same, same zone, type of zone. zone? Yeah, definitely. It's very similar, but offensively, you know, they're good. We're going to have our hands full guarding them. Um, we're going to have to do a much better job defensively. How much of it is, is really just you don't want that second loss? You don't want it to snowball where um, now there are really questions. One, um, stumble, you can people can excuse and say, hey, you just had a bad day or they had a really good day. But you want to get by that and not have another loss right back-to-back because you, you haven't had very many of those back-to-back losses mm-hmm. since you've been here. Yeah, that's one thing I know the coaches say. You know, they try never to lose two in a row, um, and you never want to lose at home, you know, so... The loss Saturday definitely hurt, but we're, like I said, you know, we're excited to get back out there and go out and prove ourselves. And, you know, out, you know, regardless of the outcome, we're going to go out and play a lot, a lot harder and a lot, a lot smarter. How anxious are you just to get back after that loss? Obviously, all the attention. How anxious are you to just get back on the winning side of things? You know, we're very, very excited. Um, and I've been saying this all day. That's the beauty about college basketball. You know, two days we're back playing, so. You know, fortunately, we get another opportunity to compete tomorrow, and we're, we're looking forward to it. And with the 2-3 zone, obviously a lot more openings to shoot from deep. Is that something you love, playing against the 2-3 zone, where you know you're going to get your opportunities to fire from deep? Um, I think that's kind of like a little bit of a trap question because lots of times you you get complacent against zones and you know you think all you want to do is shoot threes, but we still got to have that attacking mentality and try to get the ball into the paint and, and get easy shots and just not deep threes. How difficult has it been? I know Beeline has said he wants you to shoot more, and that's, if that's not your natural instinct or the role that you've been playing the previous two years, to just say go out and shoot more, it's not really easy for you to do, is it? Um, it's just kind of just a feel for the game, I guess. You know, I just got to kind of pick and choose my, my spots, when to be more aggressive and, and look for mine. Um, but I've been playing basketball for a long time, and you know, I scored a lot of points in high school, so... Um, I still, I just don't want to take bad shots, things like that. I still want to try to set our team up, teammates up, and, and make those around better. Well, I guess it's it's in your DNA, but it's not like going to tell Zach or Cares to go shoot more. Well, okay, coach, we can go and yeah. we can do that. But it, because you've been kind of rewired to mm-hmm. be a, a, a true point guard, to find the open man, to make the good pass, to not make those turnovers, it's a little bit diff- more difficult for you to just click that switch on and say, okay, go back to yeah. something else that you were before. I think the, the most difficult thing is is – um, you know, recognizing what's a good shot, you know, between difference between a good shot and a bad shot. Some coaches, you know, constantly telling me to shoot more. Sometimes I find myself taking bad shots, um, like I did on Saturday. Um, so I just got to be a little more conscious of shot, shot, shot selection and things of that nature.